have you ever led a person on? How many relationships have you had? I've had. Uh, you gonna hold me down while you so disrespectful. You gonna call my phone like, who is it, baby? Is it, baby? Tell me what you want, okay? I'm listening, baby. Listening, baby. Am I gonna hold you down? I come through tripping, baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. So um, it's currently 1:15 right now. I just um got actually off of work not too long ago. I got off around 12 o'clock, but I just got the shower, and um my mom and my sister went to Olive Garden, and luckily they got me some Olive Garden. You feel me? So clap it up for them. All right, clap it up for them. But today um I'm actually going to be doing a Q and A. Um, I don't usually do Q&A simply because they just doesn't get any views, but I'm like, you know what? It's a new me, new year, you feel me? Like, sometimes you guys just step out of that range and be like, you know what? Forget about it, all right? We gonna just move on and we gonna continue with life. And I feel like I really want y'all to get, you know, like how my life is, what I like, what I don't like, what I'm into, what I'm not into. So what I want to say, y'all, we about to drop a um, q and I'm about to answer some, some questions. So make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And with all that being said, y'all, let's get straight into this video because I am freaking hungry. So right inside this bowl, um, I got a chicken and shrimp alfredo. Y'all know my classic. If you know, you know. You feel me? Anytime I go to um, Olive Garden, I literally get this right here. I'm not left-handed, but I'm trying to do left hand because I got this one in my hand. Mm, mm, mm. I might mess around, eat this whole thing. All right, y'all, so we better get straight live and fake with it. So, do I smoke? Like, no, I don't smoke, y'all. Sorry about that mess. Um, I gotta clean up my bed. Y'all who know, y'all know. But, um, yeah, I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't do none of that stuff. Like, I feel like, um, you know, like I said, like, I if you smoke and drink, like, you do what you want to do because it's your life. It's not mine. But, personally, I don't want to mess up my lungs. I don't want to mess up my body. So, I won't be doing that. Now, whatever the future holds, that's what the future holds. But, as of right now, your girl, K, she does not smoke or drink. All right? And that's just pure straight loud effect. All right. Um, next question. It say, um, have you ever led a person on? First of all, I'm known for that. All right. I'm not proud of it, but I'm known for that. I'm a very, very nice girl. I get along with everyone. So usually, um, the ugly boys might mess around and, you know, start liking me or whatever. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, you know what I mean? And I don't like hurting people with feelings and stuff like that. So... I leave your mom and make it seem like I like them, but I really don't. I'd be like, oh my god. Right? Like I had did that um recently. And I'm like, what am I doing? Like, why am I doing this? And I just had to cut the whole person off. Like it, it was real hectic. Like I had to cut the whole person off. Cause like he would really catch your feelings for me. And I'm like, bro, I was just playing. You know what I mean? Like, like I really didn't like you. You feel me? So, I'm good for leading people on. Um, and I don't even be trying to, though. Like, it just naturally happens. I don't know why. Oh, y'all, my nails broke, too, by the way. Like, this whole entire nail just broke straight off. Like, I was so mad. Don't ask me why I haven't got my nails done. Because I'm asking myself the same thing. Hey, this kind of good, though. Let me know if you like um Alfredo with chicken and strippers out of it. Or if you like Alfredo anyways. Alfredo is where it's at. If you ain't eating no Alfredo, what you eating? Alright, let's see. Do you believe in love at first sight? Okay. To a certain extent, I feel like... I feel like, yeah, no, okay? Yeah, because, like, we all, we don't know who we gonna be ended up with at the end of the day. Like, we we all don't know who we gonna end up at the end of the night. You feel me? So, it's like, love at first sight is just, like, you don't know, you feel me? Like, you really don't know. So, I kind of believe in it because, it's like, you just don't know. Like, you never know. But then it's like, nah, because, like, you gotta meet the person. You gotta get to know them. You gotta feel them out, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So, it's like, 
I don't know. It's a win or a situation. It's a win or lose situation with me, so I really cannot answer that. But um, I would say yeah, no, yeah, no. All right, I'll give y'all two answers. Do I prefer short guys or tall guys? Oh my freaking god, y'all! Y'all asking me these freaking questions. Um, excuse me. My past relationships has been okay. My recent ones have been tall, taller than me at least. My past has been around my size or shorter. Why? I don't know. But what do I prefer? I, I'd say I prefer taller guys. I don't really like people around my, like, you would be my height, but, like, I don't prefer it. You feel me? Like, you, like, come on now. Y'all know what I'm saying. Like, I don't, I don't, I just don't prefer it, okay? I don't prefer it. I like the tall ones. Ones that I can be like this and look up to. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I need a little break in my neck. Like, if I can't do like this, then I don't want, I don't want them. Okay, straight like that. I don't want them. And that's period one way. I feel like y'all just saw me spit and now I'm embarrassed. Anyways, um, what is the one item you can't leave home without? Definitely my phone. If I ain't got my phone, the world is going to end. That actually, that's sad. The fact that, that's really sad that I said that. But that's really what it is. Like, if I don't got my phone, I will have a mental breakdown. Like, I will literally have a mental breakdown. Like, Daniel no joking. I gotta have my phone because you just never know. But then I do gotta have money because what if one day we just go into a mall run, the car break down. I'm chalked. I'm stranded. I'm chalked. I eat all that morning. Now I'm finna die. So yeah, I definitely take my phone though. I can't leave the house without my phone. Like it's it's like it's glued to my fingers. Like. I don't even have to go and pick it up. Like, I don't even have to remind myself to go pick it up. My mind already knows to pick it up. Like, when I leave out the house, it literally be in my hand, like, regardless. Like, I don't even have to go and pick it up. It literally be in my hand. Um, next one. Um, I got so many, y'all. I like, literally, like, I got so many. How many relationships have you had? I've had, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, M, seven, nine, no, I'm just playing. But I had, um, let's see. I'm trying to think of everybody. Like this, this is my whole expand, like my whole life, my whole life. I think I'm missing some people, but I had about a good, I had about a good seven, eight. Yeah, I had about a good seven, eight. Yeah, I, cause I'm missing some people. I just, I just really don't care that much. But y'all had a good seven or eight, y'all. Comment down below how many y'all had. Like, is that a lot? Like, it was like a different period of time. Like, it wasn't like, oh, I had seven. Like, no, it was just like over time. I had about. I'm cool with six, seven, eight. I'd probably say the highest is about ten. The highest. I don't know. That's really a good question. Like, how many have I had? Like, I never even thought about that question. Like, I swear I never thought about that. I tried to be raw and take a little bite, but it was too good. All right. Um. Next question. If you could get married to any celebrity, who would it be? The baby. Period. The baby smile is on something else. Like when I say the baby, if I saw him right now, I'd probably be, I'd probably pass out. Like I was always that girl where I was like, if I see somebody, you know, that's real known, I wouldn't do nothing. Like if I seen the baby, y'all, I, I might as well mess around and kill myself. I ain't gonna really do that. But like, you know I me mean? like, the baby, like his smile just takes me away. Like not, not even joking. Like I just like his whole little demeanor, like, I don't know. I just like him. I like him. And me, and for, coming from me, like I don't really um, mess with these little rappers and stuff like that. Like I mean, they got they, they got their music, they cool or whatever. Like I'm not really the type of girl who be like, oh, I, I love Trey songs, this and that. Like it's not that serious. Like I don't do all that. But the baby, let me get a whole joint, whole joint, whole joint, whole joint. I'm gonna meet him one day. Watch. 
watch watch these um videos. Y'all gonna see them in one of my videos. I guarantee you don't bet that on my life. What was the last text you sent? Dang, I can't even do that because I'm vlogging off my phone and I text on. But I think it was in the um I think it was in my work group chat. What did I say? I said um it's hot girl season now. Excuse me. But yeah, that's what I said. My last text was it's hot girl season now. And I was saying that to my friends because we got this little movement going on or whatever. Like, you know, you know, if you don't, you don't. But, um, yeah. I just basically texted them. We had a group chat and I was like, oh, by the way, this is, y'all know I work at Sonic or whatever. And, um, this is a blue raspberry slushy that I had got. Best slushy. If y'all want to know the top stuff that's good at Sonic, for those of y'all who ain't have it, I said it's slushies, they strawberry cheesecake shakes. Um, what else? A lot of people be ordering the conies. I'm not really. A, that's like basically a big old extra long hot dog. Like the hot dog literally be like this big, like the entire screen. I'm not really a big fan of hot dogs. Hot dogs actually make me want to throw up. Like me even thinking about it, make it just made me want to throw up. Like I cannot do hot dogs. I can't. I just can't. It just gross me out. Like I remember. I think it's because when I was in school. At um, middle school, I had watched like how hot dogs and stuff was made out of that factory stuff, and after that, it just literally turned me off. So I can't do hot dogs, but people they love the hot dogs at my job. That's literally what they order all the time: chili cheese dogs, American dogs, freaking all that nasty real stuff. Like first of all, why do you have different names for a hot dog? Like a hot dog is a hot dog. Like come on now. And then they be ordering um like hamburgers. We got um chili cheese toss, chili fries, mozzarellas, onion rings um sweet pretzels we got all that good stuff like we we got a lot of good stuff there i ain't gonna fake like the will be cashing out in there but why am i talking about signing like let's go anyways next question um what is something you like to do when you're sad i like to listen to music um whenever i'm sad mad whatever i like to listen to music music it literally calms me down it helps me it helps me gather my thoughts because a lot of times your girl okay she 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 got anger problems okay and when i'm on my feelings or something i go to my music turn it on and jam to it literally i don't know if this weird or not but like when i'm sad and mad like i gotta listen to like depressing songs like if i'm mad i can't listen to no megan so I'm, I'm gonna be like, what you know and all that? Let me tell you, eh, I can't do that. No. When I'm sad, I gotta listen to sad music. If I'm mad, I gotta listen to sad music. That's what I gotta do. And then it just boosts me up. I can't do no happy. No, I can't do that. It's gonna just make me even sorry even more. Do you miss anyone right now? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I miss my um grandfather. I miss my ex. Not my ex, my ex, ex, my ex, 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 ex. Yeah, crazy story. So I was dating. Like I don't know if y'all know me, but you feel me. I I mess with the. I, I ain't gonna say like you feel me. I got one you know specific you know um color that I like, but I I really prefer me a light skin or whatever. You know, a light skin, brown skin, dark skins they cool, but I really try not to mess with them. You feel me? But I mean, if one come through, one come through. But um, I usually prefer you know light skins or whatever. Like I literally, that's literally what it is. Light skins for waves, and um, yeah, period point blank. So um. I had this one dude, he was like super, super duper cute, you feel me? And I had him, I was the first one in the school, because he was one of them little, like, pretty boys, you know what I mean? One of them boys that you would think had all the girls and all that. Let me just tell y'all ladies out here and females, that you, like, if you, if you have the cutest boy, you feel me, in your school, keep him, okay? If he, if, if, keep him. If he seem loyal, he's loyal, okay? Like, I knew he seemed loyal, but I couldn't believe it because he was just such a cute boy. And it's like, dude, like, come on now. Like, you a cute boy. Like, everybody like you. Every girl wants you. Like, what? You feel me? So, back then, like, when I was dating him, I used to think, like, oh, he gonna cheat on me. And I was, you know, I was a savage. I'm a thug, you feel me? So, I'm like, ain't, no, ain't nobody about to cheat on me first. Like, if you gonna cheat on me, I'm gonna already cheat on you before you even know that I cheat on you. You feel me? So, like, I was already just prepared because 
I didn't want to get cheated on. Like, I was that girl who didn't want to get cheated on. Like, I would do any and everything just to not say that I got cheated on. So, um, yeah, so, basically what happened was, um, I thought he was going to cheat on me. And come to find out, he wasn't going to cheat on me. Like, he was actually a real loyal boy or whatever. And I wound up cheating on him. You know, I wound up cheating on him. I felt bad. I told him. And then we just... We just stopped talking to each other, and then after that, he wound up, you know, leaving. And then, um, you know, I haven't gotten into contact with them. Well, I talked to him, you know, like a couple months ago, but it was just on some like all my bad type stuff. But it wasn't on nothing too hectic. But like, dang, why you had to zoom me like that? Like, I, I just didn't want you to cheat on me. You feel me? Like, I was just trying to spare my heart. You know what I mean? Because I really did like you, and I thought you'd go, you know, do the same thing to me. So I did to you first, and now I miss you. I'm sitting over here like, God darn it. I'm hurt. I ain't go fake. I'm really hurt. But it's cool though. I'm gonna bounce back. I'm gonna bounce back. All right, let's see what else we got. When is your birthday? My birthday is March 11, 2003. Where are you from? I'm from Ohio, but um, I be in ATL. Well, I'm from ATL, but I be in Ohio. I switched that up, my fault. It's just because I've been in Ohio so long. I just, I just be like, I ah, be in Ohio, but I'm really from Atlanta. Just stop that with me. Um, what food do you love the most? This stuff right here. Y'all, look at this. This dang, they're almost gone. They need to give me more Alfredo sauce. I'm blue. Um, I'm actually so full. Like, it's blowing me because I'm really full. Y'all, I'm going to start wrapping up this Q&A, but I'm going to actually answer some more while I sit over here and try to digest this because I'm really hungry. I mean, not really hungry. I'm really um full. But yeah, um, what food do you love the most? I love that um chicken strip Alfredo. I used to just get only the shrimp Alfredo, but then I'm like, you know what? Let me let me see what they chicken in for. Let me see what they chicken in for. This is my second time getting a chicken, and so far they have not disappointed me. So I'm gonna keep getting into it disappoint me. All right. Um, do you want children? Duh. I want a girl and a boy. I really I want my first child to be a boy. Um. I'm just, I'm just, I just want a boy. You feel me? Like, I literally just want a boy. Like, first of all, a girl is too much. I don't have time for her to be catching attitudes with me because I have problems myself. And then a boy go think that he running something like I want to really square up with him. And I will. You feel me? Like, I will. And I definitely will. And that's just period, point blank. So, I want to have a son, you know, but then my, the son, he might do too much. I mean, obviously, I'm going to raise my kids right, so I ain't going to never do nothing slick or nothing because I might come for their whole life. But, like, I want a son, but. I just do too much and just piss me off and think like he really out here and he's not really out here. Cause you know when you when you the little son they want to do the little game banging and I don't got time for that. All right, keep that keep that over there. But then we got the um, girls, they want to go sneak outside. They want to go you know do this and do that. I don't have time for that. Okay, I'm like, I'm gonna be like baby girl, you gotta go sit down. I don't have time for that. Just stop. Okay, so like I really want a boy first, but you know whatever God bless me with that's what it is. But I do want to have two kids. When I have a boy and a girl. I want the first to be a boy, the second to be a girl. Now, I was kind of like thinking like three because if you got a boy and a girl, like obviously, you know, the boy, girl can't do everything the boy do. The boy can't do everything the girl do. So it's like you go need somebody else. You feel me? Like when it, it's me, Miranda, and Mariah. So like when Mariah pisses me off, I go to Miranda. When Miranda pisses me off, I go to Mariah. And it's just vice versa. Like if Mariah get pissed off with Miranda, she come to me. You know, like it's just vice versa. Well, if it's only two of us, what can we do? You feel me? Like, I just try to think of it as, like, if it was me, like, what would I want? You know what I mean? So, that's how I look at it as. So, I don't know. I don't know. I want to, but who knows? You know, who knows with me? I'm very indecisive. And, um, you just never know with MK, right? MK is just all over the place. We just gonna wrap this up with a QA. and a Um, pick one. Cheat or be cheated on? I told y'all this already. Um, I would rather be, um, I'd rather cheat. I don't, I don't like being cheated on. Like, first of all, I know, like, who about to, I, yeah, I got cheated on. Like, what? I don't even sound really, you know, I would rather cheat. But then I'm going to feel bad. But then at the same time, I really don't care because I don't care. Um, uh, would you consider yourself romantic? Oh, my gosh. Is you asking a wall right now? Like, is you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I am the, I am, I am the, like, I am the most romantic person there is like what you might not be able to see it but like i'm really a romantic person like i'm a flirt y'all like i'm really a flirt like i i flirt so bad that it honestly gets me in trouble like literally like i just had this situation where i was um 
flirting or like I was like I don't know I just come off as a flirt you know what I mean like I don't even do it on purpose like people you would tell me like like you was a flirt and I just be like I don't even be trying to do nothing like I literally just do my thing this you feel me like I literally just do me and they be like yeah I'm kidding like you seem like a flirt and she be like you doing how I don't be doing nothing and people tell me like the people who I be you know I guess supposedly flirting with they be like well you the one who did and I just look at you like I didn't do anything you feel me? You just got the stuff twisted. So, yeah, I feel like I am uh, romantic. I'm definitely um, a flirt, though. Like, definitely a flirt. Yeah. But I feel like I'm romantic. I just don't be showing it. But that's just how I am. You feel me? Everybody got this stuff. That's just how I am. But I feel like I am. Um, would you date your best friend? It ain't no best friends. <laughs> A BF is a boyfriend. That's just pure point blank. Ain't no boyfriends around. Cheer. I don't know if that's your boyfriend or if that's your best friend. I don't know if that's your boyfriend or if that's your best friend. Hold on. New song coming out. Period. Uh, what was your last dream about? Oh, my God, y'all. So, last night, bro, I had the craziest dream in the world. Like, my, my freaking dreams be, like, freaking crazy. Like, it be nightmares, all right? I have nightmares all the time. Like, basically what happened was... We had, okay, it was me and all my cousins. We had did something stupid, you feel me? Because we always doing stuff, stuff stupid, you know what I mean? And, y'all, don't get it twisted. Some dreams be coming to real life, all right? Literally, like, some dreams be coming to real life. It might not take place like how it was in your head, but, it, it you know, it's something going to shake. So, anyways, um, I had a dream that basically somebody had, uh, was, like, stalking us or whatever, stalking my cousins, stuff like that, and they were stalking us. And then blase blase, they wind up. Uh, we had our front door open, and they wind up running into our front door. And um, you know, we all started hiding, like we all just started hiding, and we all, you know, hid or whatever. But then he came in there searching, found people. He ain't found me, so it was like basically in the in the house that we that was in my dream. It was like it was a front door, and then it was like a hallway, and it was some rooms. So, like you had to walk down the hallway, then you know go through the room. So I was in the first room, but he had peeped the first room because I was behind the door. He just did like a glimpse, a look, and then kept going because he was just trying to get all the people. So then you know, and so when he was like you know passing my room, I had hurried up and ran out. I was like I was like hey y'all one two three we gonna run, and we just all started running out the door and we just started scattering scattering. And he wound up catching some people. He and then as soon as like I left and then it was me, my sister, my two cousins. We had we we had um escaped. And then, as you know, they shut the door. We couldn't get back in. And I, we, I was, like, um, going all around my neighborhood, like, asking for help and this and that. And I was, like, like just help us, like, whatever you can do and stuff like that. Like, it was it was basically, like, like I can't really do, get into full detail because it kind of, like, it gets too personal. It, it don't get too personal, but, like, like, my dream was, like, related to real life. You feel me? Like, that's what it was. Like, the house that was in my head like in my, the house that was in my dream was this house that I'm in. The neighborhood that I was in was the neighborhood. You feel me? So it was just a whole. Little, it was just a whole situational. But yeah. But at the end of the story, though, you know the story's always ain't good. At the end of the story, they wind up all getting out, and it was just like that. Police wind up coming, so it was just a whole little situation. So if y'all see me, you feel me on the news somewhere, y'all know. You feel me? Because I believe that dreams come true. You know what I mean? I dreams come true. I don't give. I don't care. I almost say. <laughs> I don't not cuss. I promise you, I don't cuss. Um, what is your biggest turn off in a person? Somebody that's cocky and got a funky attitude. I really hate that. I hate little boys who got a who real cocky. Like, if if you even seem like you cocky, I get mad. Like, I don't care about none of that stuff. Like, I don't like cocky dudes. Like, that stuff just blows me. Like, it makes me mad so bad. Like, I hate it. Like, I can just see it in their face. Like, when I see your face and you look cocky, I just get pissed automatically. So. Um, my uh, turn off for me is when a boy's just too cocky. Like, let it go. Let it go. Because you're not even all that. Do you feel me? And the, the boys that be cocky don't even be all that. That'd be the point. Like, you don't even be all that. Like, you being cocky for what? You feel me? Like, if you go be cocky, be cocky in the arm. So, you feel me? Like, you look dumb. Um, uh, biggest turn on in a person, I'd say, like, their personality and just, like, how they come about. Like, if you, like, a big flirt, I'm gonna mess with you, you feel me? Because I'm a big flirt. You feel me? If you smooth, I'm gonna mess with you because I'm smooth. You know what I mean? So, like, I just... I don't know. I just like the boys that's just like you know, just like a little shorty. You feel me? Like let me get a, let me get you a little digital. You know the little smooth ones, little funny, corny, cool ones. You feel me? I like those types. All right. So 
I think that's pretty much it, y'all. If y'all want to see some more, because I got a whole bunch, y'all. Like, the lines just keep going. Like, it just keep going. So, if y'all want to see another Q&A, because we about to wrap up on 30 minutes. If y'all want to see another Q&A, make sure y'all hit that like button right now. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Turn that bell on so you guys can know if I every single video. I'm about to go edit this video. Hopefully, it gets put up. I don't know, y'all. I might not even upload this video, depending on, you know, how it does. But, um, comment down below if you guys want to see more videos. Comment down below videos that you guys want to see. Because um, I got a lot of list situationals coming through um, for y'all. So make sure y'all drop it down in the comment section down below or any video that you guys want to see. And I will try my best to um, make sure I do it. Um, but I've been saying, y'all, I really do love y'all. And I will see y'all in the next video. I'm extremely tired, y'all. I really do.